Good morning everyone, it's Francis. You may be asking yourselves, well, what's going to happen with Comet Elenin and when can we see it and where can we see it and how are we going to see it and how will we know it's gone and how will we know it's there? You might have heard me recently say that I'm going to start manning the telescopes tonight. Well, today is here and, and my first preparation is to go on Stellarium and find out where Kama Elenin is. Now I know whereabouts Kama Elenin is because here in North America on uh, September 29th uh, it is the alignment, the Virgo alignment. So I know that Kama Elenin is at the head of Virgo. Now in Australia, which is I'm showing here, and it's due east, you're looking due east, it's 4.36 a.m. on September 30th. And that's in a couple hours. Right now it's two it's two twenty, it's two thirty, it's this is two hours ahead. So let's go back to two let's go back to the right time. That's what time it is right now about in Australia. This is what you would see out in the sky looking east. Procyon, Betelgeuse, Sirius is up here. And now we're gonna move ahead because Comet Elenin now is going to be rising in the east. Before it went in front of the sun, it was setting after the sun in the west, and now we're looking for it in the east before the sun rises. We're going to move forward. This is today in Australia, 2.27 a.m., 2.37 a.m. Let's go up, 3.37, 4.37, here comes Leo. Here comes the sun. There's Leo right here, and here comes the sun. And you can just see breaking the horizon is Virgo's head. Kama Elenin is right on the horizon with the sun, and it's moving up this way. It's moving up back towards Leo. But today, in a couple of hours, if I was to go out, so what I was going to do is go to Australia Sunrise and see if I could see Kama Elenin, but at 5.38, in about three hours, the sun will be rising in Australia, and Kama Ellen will be right with it. Right with it. So I'm not going to get a picture of Kama Ellen. So now let's go ahead 538 tomorrow. And her head is a little bit higher, but the sun's right there. This is sunrise in 538 the next day. And the sun is setting. So I'll actually want to come back at 438. We'll come back earlier and we'll go 10-3, 10-4. 10.5. Let's go back to 5.38 on 10.5. Now, Kama Elenin is going to be up here. So maybe on October 5th, I can start. But let's go October 6th, and let's go back our hour, because this is what we're going to be doing October 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. This will probably be right around here. Kama Elenin will be back around Leo's feet, heading this way, heading back toward cancer. So this on 1010 I uh, would say yes I'm gonna get a picture of Kama Ellen because let's go let's go um, 10 11 see it's going a little bit farther 10 12 and see it's 439 the sun's starting to come up but definitely we're getting pictures I'm gonna say on 10 10 from Australia 10 10 would be a good day to get a picture of Comet Elenin from Australia at about 4.39 a.m., which is about 1 p.m. the day before. So at 1 p.m. the day before, I'm going to be taking a picture of Comet Elenin as the sun rises in Australia the next day. Let me go now to... Let me change this because I have to configure the, the time zone again. I'm going to configure a new time zone because right now it's... Uh, plus 10, I'm going to configure it to a minus 6, see a minus 8, minus 6, I'm going to I'm gonna save settings, close this because so I have to close the whole program out when you change those time settings you have to close the whole program out Let's 
Let's open it again, and then we'll go to Nerpio, Spain. I mean, we're going to go to uh, Mayhill, New Mexico. So let me go to my location. Let's go to Mayhill, New Mexico. Let's just go over here. Or I can just go New Mexico. Let's see what time it is. It's 11.19. Let me get my time up. It's 9.29, 11.19 during the day. That's, let's go to sunrise. Let's go back. And let's look east. There's the sun. Let's look at the constellations. Okay, 519, 929, 419, now, common element is up by your head, I don't know if I have the minus 6 right, it's the minus 6, 7, 8, Let's go tomorrow. Okay, three twenty in the morning in New Mexico on ten ten. 10, 9. You see, that's getting pretty low. Maybe. We'll start around 10, 6. At 3.20 in the morning. Which is 2.20 in the morning in Texas. So there's different, different days going on. New Mexico is going to be different. Australia is going to be different, and then Nerpio, Spain will come in even later, so maybe in a week. It's not going to be the 29th. It's not the 29th. Let's try the 30th at 2, 3... Three twenty one, three forty five. See, maybe, maybe this morning. We're down here again, Virgo's head. So, like I said, I'm gonna be out there tonight. I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be up. I've got to figure out how to uh, set the schedules and make a reservation for this session these sessions here but we're getting real close nonetheless we're getting real real close and um, I'm going to be uh, attempting to take pictures um, I just showed you Australia and New Mexico the little differences of date and the position of uh, Virgo's head and northern hemisphere goes from left to right and southern hemisphere goes from right to left mm, I'll keep you updated so where's common Island today it's by Virgo's head right there Right around the horizon, on its way through Leo and back through Cancer. And the farther it gets away from the sun, that means it's up in the sky before the sun rises and we'll be able to take pictures. Once we take a series of pictures and we know that we've done our best to take pictures of Comet LNN on its after its passage in front of the sun, uh, we will know what we're dealing with. And then um, I'm sure I'll have a new report about what I see. I hope I see... Um, one piece. I hope when uh, I hope I see one piece. That's what all I can hope for. And then um, that's the update. And once we get past Comet Elenin and anything, we've got the observatory going up. All these dates as we get into the middle of October and into the middle of November. There's the big party, a gathering for a Barnet Bar 
a binary party without zeros on November 11th. I'm going to get to see the observatory in person if you're there. And uh, other than that, I haven't seen or been listening to or been watching anything that has put me uh, in opposing viewpoints. Uh, anyone who's making new videos call Ellen in that are obvious mashes of the truth and fiction. Uh, do your best, do your worst, whatever. Uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I know that uh, I should be one of the uh, first ones to get some pictures of Colin Ellen in. Um, and that's all I can do for this discussion is to do my best to get those shots for you. And we'll go from there. So y'all have a good afternoon. This is Francis saying that's what's up with Kama Ellenin in the near future. Let's hope she's there. Tail, no tail, uh, whatever may be, that's what we're interested in. And we want to know. We want to know. I know you want to know. I want to know too. Talk to you later. Bye.